Yo, this is Masego, and welcome to Planet Afropunk. Um, I immediately think of that spot the black person when you're at the airport or in a different country. It's like, oh, shoot, you got here too? So I just feel like that presence being anywhere is just like, you know, curiosity of like what's their story of how they became abroad, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So I just see it as simply as that. I think you have to sit with yourself, like you're forced to. So um, not being able to tour, I had to figure out, okay, what is my purpose and journey, impact, all that. And um, I guess it just made me realize how much I had to internalize creating and figuring out like my message and certain stories from the past. Mm -hmm. I'm more family focused. I, I'm, I value my time even more than before. and. Uh, I spend less money, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I feel like I, I learned what I don't need. And um, yeah, I became very Masego-ish because I used to think, oh, it's the sax. Oh, it's the, the shirts. But it's like me involved in whatever is Masego. So I feel like 2020 and being stuck in my room taught me that. Yeah. Uh, some words that come to mind are punctuality because I feel like time is like involved in who I allow in my space. How long can you be there? You know, things of that nature. So I think of people that are punctual, they already, they're allowed to be in my space longer. I feel like hospitality comes to mind. How do you make me feel when I'm around you? You know, like everybody's an ambassador for their culture, for whatever they're wearing on their body. Like it's like you are the ambassador for whatever you represent. And I feel like that hospitality, like I mirror energy. So we can say another word is energy. You know what I'm saying? What energy are you giving off? Uh, we're a lot more sensitive to that these days because we know what it's like to be like isolated. So when you get around somebody, you feel that shift, mm -hmm. right? So it's like, okay, what are you giving off to me? I'm about to put it back. I don't know, like purpose is something that I, I do to reclaim my, my space because it's like, why am I here? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, why did I choose to get through traffic and come out, out of here? You know what I'm saying? Intention and purpose, both of those things are going in tandem for me. Yeah. Because it's like, at this point, like, I feel like I've won. You know what I mean? I got the viral song. I got the, the money. I got the success, the international. It's like, what's the new journey right now? Mm -hmm. You feel me? So I super value my purpose and my intention in whatever I do. So what I think of is just my lack of planning. When I think of punk, it's just like, we're going to let the show be what it is. The song is just going to be like real and like grungy and the energy. You ask anybody that works for me, it's like half stressful that I don't have a set list or a plan. I think that's the beauty of it. And that's the beauty of it. Like, I'm a professional at nothing but having fun. You know what I mean? Like, I'm the guy. I got Uno cards in my pocket right now. You know what I mean? So I feel like that's the punk aspect of it. Like, there ain't no mosh pits, but like, the process is a mosh pit. I think it's like massage parlor music. Um, this one dude from Taiwan was like, I'm like a, a, a tree bark sensitive man style on sax. And I liked that. I was like, yeah. Because at the end of the day, I don't consider myself a sax player. Like, come on now. There's Braxton Cook and Terrace Martin, Kamasi. Like, I'm out not out here like, I'm the Jordan of sax. But like, I got a sound. And women come to my show. So it's just like, what are you going to do? Probably Spillage Village, that comes to mind. You know, like just like the collaborative effort is very grungy, it has like this hint of like the gospel in there and it's the first thing that came to mind. But yeah, 2020 is just like this, it's like, ah, that hurts, but like, oh, it's kind of lit. You know what I mean? Last question. I, re I real life love bows. Like, not even on some clout-ish or whatever. Like, I use bows on every trip. I've been around this world multiple times, and peace is something serious to me. Mm -hmm. Like, I take in energy from everybody, and I have to divvy it back out on stage. Mm -hmm. So when I have that, like, sound noise cancellation, and I can, like, kind of be in my own realm, it's like an inhaler for me. Yeah. And if you want to get the best version of me, make sure I listen to music before speaking to you. You know what I mean? And I feel like... I'm big on that. Like all the crying babies on planes, I don't know nothing about that. 
Like I see you, I see like the mouth moving, but I don't hear it. So I feel like I actually use bows. So there's nothing to fake about it. Like I need that piece and it's a good design, it works.